What's going on guys? It's your boy Andy Arts. And today I'm going to talk about once again AI art. But this time it's going to be about storyboards. Now, um, AI has done many things. Like we had ChatGPT, we have AI art generators such as Midjourney and, and a whole bunch of other ones. Right, there's so many AI art generators that are stealing, I repeat, stealing art from other, you know, artists, putting it in, into their, you know, I guess into their library of artwork and just straight up just snatching it <laughs> and then making new art out of it. Well, actually, they're just kind of like recycling it, you could say. So it's just, you know, we could, there's a whole argument of behind that. I've talked about it before, but storyboards. So I was, I, I stumbled upon an article. I stumbled upon an article from uh, cartoonbrew.com. And cartoonbrew.com, it is a news website for, it's mainly for animation. It's mainly for, you know, like people that are into animation. That's mainly what it's for. We know cartoons, animated works, so-and-so, you get the point. So there's this, there was this article that was published in August 31st of 2023, which was last year from the time of this video. It's called Tech Bros Want to Replace Storyboard Artists with Artificial Intelligence. Now, I'm not sure how I missed this article last year because uh, I'm pretty up, up to date with everything that's happening. But what interests me about this article was that is the two artificial intelligence softwares for storyboarding. And I'm going to show it to you now. So the first one is called Storyboard.ai. So here is the announcement for it. Storyboards are an indispensable tool for communicating a vision. However, creating storyboards can be a laborious and time-consuming process. That's why we've developed Storyboarder AI, a cutting-edge AI solution that empowers you to create professional storyboards quickly and effortlessly. Start by uploading your screenplay as a PDF file and let our tool do the magic. Our AI power tool analyzes your screenplay, identifies all scenes and shots, and presents them to you in an easy to use interface that enables you to make quick and accurate adjustments with a single click. Once you're satisfied with the shot description, Storyboarder AI automatically generates high quality images which can be reviewed and refined to perfection. You have complete control over the image style to accurately capture your vision. Storyboarder AI revolutionizes the process of creating storyboards. Empower your team and create storyboards with ease. Join the wait list now. Okay. So, yeah, it basically, you know, it, it takes a, a load off of you. But again, where is it generating these images? Where are these images being generated from? Like, is this taking it from Pinterest, from Instagram? Where, where are these images being generated from? Because if the artists are not making them, then, you know, the machine is not creating it themselves. There's, they're taking it from somewhere and, you know, recreating them. And there was another one called a Storyboard Hero, which uh, seems to take a bit more work. So here it is. Welcome to Storyboard Hero. Let me show you how Storyboard Hero works. First, you start by entering an idea for your video. You can also select several parameters. Based on your initial input, a full script is generated by the AI. It is automatically divided into scenes. The voiceover is separated from the scene description. If you are not happy with the proposed concept, you can generate a new one. Once you have a concept you like, you can edit each scene to customize it. Once you are happy with the script, let's move to the generation of images for the different scenes. You have two options. Either you use AI again to generate the images, or you ask our team of sketch artists to draw the images for you. Why are we proposing these two options? Our goal is to deliver a full storyboard for you. While AI is amazing and is progressing very fast, the technology still has some limitations and will continue to have some for a while. For instance, it's not easy to have consistency of characters. Even more difficult is to have several actions taking place in the same scene. This is why we offer you two options, and you can choose which one you prefer, according to your project. Let's look at generating images with AI first. Choose your style. Generate images for the whole storyboard. Et voila. You can then choose to regenerate some images if you want. Let's look at the second option. Have our team of sketch artists draw the images for you. Choose your style. 
order your images. Our team of sketch art. Okay, so, you know, the thing about storyboards is that storyboards is just something that's needed for the process of making a movie, for the process of making an animated work, like, a, you know, a cartoon. And I think one of the reasons why, you know, it cannot be copyrighted, why, why I guess you could say is legal to use it is because they're not really going to be publishing the storyboard. They're going to be working, uh, you know, they're using the storyboard as a way to know what's going to happen in the movie or, or in the cartoon, right? Now, I see this being used more by movie movie makers, right? They're, they're trying to save time, maybe hire less people because, I mean, let's face it, people are annoying and <laughs> you got to pay them. They call out sick from work, all of that. You guys get the point, right? Uh, so I see this being used more by movie makers, you know, like action movies, fantasy sci-fi movies, you know, live action stuff. But when it comes to animated work, like actual cartoons or anime, I don't see this being used because in order to know what happens, you got to redraw the character over and over again. So for Naruto, let's say the Naruto or I don't know, um, Death Note or Berserk, you know, one of my favorite animes. Uh, you have to redraw the character to tell the story, even on the storyboard. Again and again to tell the story, right? So I don't think they're, you know, this is going to be used for that. But I think as far as maybe for video games, maybe for for you know the for Hollywood, they're definitely going to be using this. So, um, you know what bothers me about AIR is that AIR con AI continues to to replace people, right? So it's not just art; it's just everywhere. You know, whether if it's, you know, call centers, retail, a whole bunch of other industries, you know, food service businesses. It's like when you replace people in the robots are doing other work, who's going to be buying the products? Now, they're saying, oh, well, the new jobs are going to be created. Well, I mean, I don't think so, because is let's take a look at the art world. Let's say you work for a movie company like a, you're, you're a storyboard artist, concept artist, illustrator. You do splash art some type of concept art right background design um once ai and the robots take those jobs then what other jobs are going to be created for artists oh yeah that's right none now they're going to say oh we're going to use your professional artist to edit the images that ai that ai creates okay great so what i think is going to happen that you know a lot of, a lot of you know artists are going to be replaced Mainly in the entertainment business. I think in the entertainment business, AI, uh, AI is going to replace artists. But when it comes to comic books, I don't think comic book. you know, the, the only thing that AI cannot do is tell a story. They cannot tell a story like a human, which is why I think um, this whole storyboard thing is probably not going to work. Because so if you're a comic book artist, this is perfect. Actually, this is actually absolutely perfect. If you're a comic book artist. So, because our comic book artists cannot be replaced. You know, somebody's got to tell a story to entertain people, right? And also, when so many companies are using AI to create art and all this stuff, then traditional art is going to be more valuable. Even if it's digital, let's say if you use Clip Studio or Photoshop to create art, that's going to be even more valuable because it's being created by a person. Because when everybody is creating, is generating art, you know, with a freaking, with a, with a piece of software that just generates images, then... You know, you could say that, you know, the people are not going to be paying for commissions as much. Okay, fine. But, tra you know, traditional art is going to become more valuable. And independent artists are going to be more valuable. They're probably going to sell more in the future. So traditional artists and digital artists, like people who paint with Clip Studio and Photoshop, they're going to, you know, they're probably going to be making more money because, you know, people are going to get sick and tired of these, you know, robot-generated images and they want something from a real human. And that's, prob that's most likely going to sell even more. So... That's just my thoughts, but um, yeah, it seems like they just want to replace artists altogether. They just want to replace humans. It's like the people that are creating all these machines, it, it, you know, they're saying that it is to that robots are going to take the jobs that people don't want to do. But guess what? When it comes to art, especially people do want to draw. People do want to create, um, char you know, do storyboards, tell stories, create characters, concept art, background design, all that stuff. So. Are you really doing it? You know, to, you know. Is it is it just about the money? Is it just about just to save time? Are, are they really doing it just to like, you know, take the jobs that people don't want? How do you know people don't want these jobs? 
you know and, and that's why i say they don't really care about artists so in the future i keep telling people you know get your own website have your own website where you can sell your art and once i improve my art skills i will start selling my art in um, in anime conventions because what else is there you know where you know nobody else is valuing us even youtube youtube has become just this ah uh, i don't know i you can tell that i'm frustrated but anyways guys tell me what you think about the tech bros creating you know trying to play storyboard artist 2 with ai Make sure to comment below, make sure to like this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell for future notifications. I'm going to be um, making more videos about what's happening in the art world. And I want to make some tutorials. I've been taking some colossal courses. So once I'm done with that, I'll be back to making tutorials, how to draw videos. All right, guys, that's going to be it. And I'll see you in the next art video. This is your boy, Andy Arts. Godspeed. Godspeed.